have already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got this Queen of Cups. And it's with this Page of Swords. Now the Queen of Cups, it indicates a woman. She'll be very helpful to you. She'll remind you to bring love, compassion to your work. And that's even possible even if you work in a factory, all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your working world or in your life when this card appears than you're realizing. Now it's with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If so, it will represent a person that would be younger than you. <laughs> because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that indicates a student, youth, immaturity, someone younger than you. It does also indicate that there's a message coming in. Now, in this instance, because it's a page, and this page has a huge sword in his hand, the message is probably not what you're hoping to hear. Now this tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. Yeah, this page of swords has a great deal of mental and physical energy. So your recent past energy between you and your person, Virgo, Queen of Cups, clarified by this page of swords. So it looks like you wanted to offer your love to this person. Yeah, because whenever you see the Queen or the King of Cups, in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. And what's in the cup? L-O-V-E, love. So yeah, you wanted to offer love to your person. You were ready to open up your heart, open up your heart. But then you probably realized or you discovered how, um, well, you might realize that this person was on the immature side. Yeah, they could have done like silly things or things that you didn't appreciate. Because this uh, page of swords, they'll keep tabs on you. They'll do a lot of watching you. They bring conflict. Yeah, they just do silly stuff or things that you don't really understand. But you, you were ready to give your, your love to this person and then... Yeah, you found out that they were, they were immature. Yeah, for some of you, your person was, was a lot younger than you. Maybe not a lot, could have been by a few months or a few years. Or maybe more, because Paige is, is youth. It's a student. Immaturity. So, let's move on over. Why don't we take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now, we got this Page of Cups, and it's with a tower. Now, the Page of Cups, it shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When you get this card, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet that once said, The one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. Now, the first is imperative. And the second can be a disaster. You have to know the difference. Now it's with the tower card. The tower card can actually be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. It's important to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people 
situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer, may, may no longer be there in quite the same way as they once were. Now this change, it doesn't have to be drastic. Just know it's the, it's the nature of life, so if you try to prevent it, it could feel like you're trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could actually be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. So coming up, Virgo, for you and your person, like I said, you're starting to realize that your person is not at the maturity level that you need them to be. Yeah, because I'm really getting that feeling also pretty strong because you got two page cards here. And then this page of cups is showing that your person, you might find that, or you feel like they, they're just into having fun. Because you see these three people, page of cups is a card above the word present. They're hanging out at the park. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. So for some of you, you're dealing with someone who probably spends too much time with their friends. And just not taking the connection that serious. They're more into having fun or just maybe goofing off. Not taking life serious. So, because it's paired with this tower card, it looks like, um, for some of you, the connection can fall apart. Yeah, things just come crashing down. Because your person is not taking... It feels like they're not taking you serious, taking the connection serious, and they're just into just maybe hanging out, just being with friends. It seems like they're not putting the the relationship, they're not making it a priority, because they're more into just having fun. So it looks like it could come crashing down. That's what, that's what it's showing here. Yeah, but the good thing about the tower card is that you're enlightened by this disaster. Yeah, you're no longer seeing the relationship or seeing things through rose-tinted glasses. You get the full picture. There's clarity. Things are brought to light. So you're awakened. And that's always a good thing. So you're not walking around with blindfold on, you see everything for what it is. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Two of Swords and it's with the Scheme of Cups. Now the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they could be going somewhat well, whether it's business, friendship, romantic. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationships and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this does require a lot of communication. Now, it's with this King of Cups, which can speak of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he indicates an actual man in your life, usually when it does represent a live person, it's referring to a very kind and loving individual. This person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure, true love in your life, no matter what your situation. Yeah, that's interesting. I just realized you've got the King of Cups here. And you've got the Queen of Cups. we got a true pair here. I, I did not even notice until now. A true pair. 
Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so like I said, whenever you see the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in a reading, there's they're offering lights about love. What's in the cup? Love. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. And it's here twice, so anyway, anyways. So the challenge, Virgo, two of swords, clarified by this King of Cups. Wow, so like I said, it looks like it, for a lot of you, it comes, the connection with this Page of Swords come crashing down. They're just kind of like not taking the connection as serious as you need them to. Um, so it looks like with the Two of Swords, you could choose to block this person. You're going to avoid and block them. That's what it's showing. And they'll be reaching out to you, offering you, offering you their cup. Before you were offering them your cup as a queen in the recent past, but now they're all trying to offer you your offer you a cup of love. But yeah, it's showing that you're you're probably going to choose to block and avoid them. So, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the seven of cups. And it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Seven of, Cups, Seven of Cups can be a card about choices. It can indicate confusion. Disorganization, having too much going on. A need to narrow your focus. Probably trying to do too much. Doing most of it not very well. Maybe choose just a few of the things that are on your plate. And work through them one by one. With the Seven of Cups, you could start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember, you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Now, it's with this Knight of Pentacles. I love the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles can mean stability. If you're, if you're single, this card can indicate that you're ready for a serious relationship. And may soon find someone who's ready to provide you with the security, support that you want and need. And if you're in a relationship, um, this type of person, this energy, the Knight of Pentacles, um, will be with someone whose um, commitment is solid. The Knight of Pentacles, it's a good indicator of stable, solid, committed relationship if it's representing a person um, this person is very practical the knight of pentacles practical patient protective it's like your knight in shining armor very loyal and faithful type yeah so the outcome for you virgo seven of clubs clarified by this knight of pentacles so yeah like it, like i said it looks like a lot of you will choose to avoid and block this person. It looks like it comes falling apart anyways with the Tower card here. They're just not taking the connection serious. At one point, you want to offer your love. It comes crashing down. Now they're trying to offer you love. But they can't get back in. And you block, you're blocking them. And the outcome is showing that you realize that you have options. Yeah. You realize that you have choices. You got a lot going on for yourself, so... Yeah. Someone's coming towards you this Knight of Pentacles. One of, probably, maybe it's one of your options. Maybe it's someone that you know, that you feel is stable, practical, sincere, loyal. Yeah, somebody's coming in. Somebody who's a, who would be good for you. Very stable type. This Knight of Pentacles, they make really good fathers. Very loyal. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Virgo. 
I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope you resonate. As you know, general, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Do we can, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. <laughs> I'll also put a link below of the extension of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you? In the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those, so far, why thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. They can be reversed. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, could be a family member or a situation. So please take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.